Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we review basic operation of Quantum's ARC3000 Mark II stabilizer controller, which is specifically designed for underweight-only stabilizer operations. We will go step-by-step step through the functions available on the ARC3000 controller. For additional reference, see the ARC3000 Operation Summary Guide, generally provided at the beginning of the Quantum Supplied Manual and also available on Quantum's website on the Service Instructions page. To turn on the controller, simply press and hold the I button until it beeps. The control will enter a self-test sequence, after which the stabilizer system is activated. Before starting up the system, it is a good idea for safety reasons to check that the stabilizer hydraulic system is not undergoing maintenance and that the vessel's location and general conditions are appropriate for stabilizer activity. Once powered up, the controller illuminates and indicators provide system feedback to the operator. In the middle of the control, the word signal is positioned between two lights which indicate the roll angle signal received from the roll sensor. A roll to port will illuminate the left side light, a roll to starboard will illuminate the right side light. The fin movement and position can be visually assessed via the fin position LED indicators on the left and right extremes of the ARC3000 control face. The lights indicate the position of the port side fin on the left and the starboard side fin on the right. The fin's center position is indicated by the green middle light. The brightness of all of these lights and backlit buttons can be altered using the panel illumination button which depicts an image of a light bulb. Illumination can be adjusted in five steps. The ARC3000 is able to display several of the hydraulic system alarms. When the alarm is triggered, a symbol for the alarm will illuminate, such as temperature bulb signaling high oil temperature in the oil reservoir, fluid vessel indicating low oil level in the oil reservoir, and a filter element, signaling the pressure filter element is clogged and operating in the bypass condition. When one of these three alarms is triggered, a buzzer will be audible. To silence the alarm buzzer, press the alarm silence button. To clear the alarm, the alarm condition must be corrected. Some vessels choose to have these alarms displayed at a central alarm monitoring system instead of or in addition to display on the ARC3000 control. Of course, silencing an alarm at the ARC3000 has no effect on alarm indication at the vessel's monitoring system. The ARC3000 is typically installed on the bridge for easy access. Quantum offers a remote control which allows limited system operation from other locations. The master button indicates the connection status between the ARC3000 control and any remote controls installed on the vessel. This button will blink and an alarm will sound if a connection to a remote control unit is broken. The force roll button, when used in conjunction with other buttons on the control, will cause the vessel to actively roll. Because of the damage that can be done on board during a forced roll of the vessel, use of this function is limited to quantum personnel. When first started, the ARC3000 will automatically enter the center mode. In the center mode, hydraulic pressure is used to actively keep the stabilizers in their center or non-stabilizing position. In order to activate the stabilizers so that the fins begin to move to counteract roll motions, it is necessary to engage the auto or manual modes on the control. To engage the stabilizers in auto, simply press the auto button. In the auto mode, the control reads the roll position and velocity from the roll sensor and together with recent roll history, determines the optimal fin activity to reduce vessel roll. Fin activity will be evident by the fin position LED indicators. For most situations, the auto mode will yield the best performance. Since there is no user interaction required to adjust any system settings in the auto mode, it also presents the least burden for the operator. In certain conditions, the auto mode may not interpret the vessel operating conditions appropriately and the operator may feel that better performance is possible. In the manual mode, engaged by pressing the manual button, the user is able to optimize stabilizer performance by adjusting control settings via the four rotary knobs on the upper portion of the control. With these four knobs, an operator can fine tune the control settings for the conditions based on his feel of the roll motions on board. However, when conditions change, the operator will need to readjust accordingly. Let's start with list control. 
An operator can use the stabilizer fins to correct for a vessel's list in manual mode by using two of the available knobs. The list control knob at the bottom left is an obvious choice. With this knob turned fully counterclockwise, the stabilizer system will not correct vessel list. As the knob is turned clockwise, the stabilizer fin's center position will offset to gradually compensate for more vessel list. The degree and direction of fin offset is calculated by the controller based on the heel detected by the roll sensor. At fully clockwise, the stabilizer fin's center position is offset as far as functionally practical, offering maximum list compensation. Depending on the degree of list, this setting may not bring the vessel fully upright. Since use of the list control feature offsets the fins, vessel drag will increase, which may affect vessel speed and will reduce fuel efficiency. For this reason, use of list control is recommended for short voyages where increased fuel consumption can be tolerated. For longer voyages, it is more economical to correct vessel list by adjusting the vessel's loading condition. The static fin angle knob located at the top right directly offsets the fin position and therefore can also be used to correct vessel list. However, unlike the list control knob, the static fin angle knob does not take input from the roll sensor. Therefore, when using the static fin angle knob, the operator must directly control not only how much list correction to apply, but also to which side, port or starboard, the vessel is listing by turning the knob clockwise or counterclockwise from the middle or zero position. It is possible with the static fin angle knob to overcorrect or to cause additional heel by turning the knob too far or in the wrong direction. To avoid this, it is recommended to use the list control knob for list correction purposes and to keep the static fin angle knob in the middle or zero position while underway. The static fin angle knob is handy, however, for stabilizer system maintenance, such as purging air from the stabilizer cylinders after cylinder repair. The top left knob is the stabilized knob, which is used to control the overall sensitivity of the stabilizer system. Turning this knob fully counterclockwise minimizes the allowed fin deflection. As the knob is turned clockwise, more and more fin deflection is allowed until, at fully clockwise, the stabilizer fins are allowed to deflect freely as required to counter roll. Since fin deflection is required to provide roll reduction underway, if the stabilizer performance is less than desired, try turning the stabilized setting up by turning the knob further clockwise until the desired performance is achieved. However, too much fin response can overcompensate, forcing the vessel to roll back and forth at small angles. When this happens, the vessel roll will feel unnatural and jittery. To correct, try turning the stabilized setting down by turning the knob counterclockwise until the unnatural motions cease. The bottom right knob is the beam follow control. This setting allows a user to adjust the stabilizer actuator timing for changing sea conditions. When a vessel is in seas with a period of encounter close to the vessel's natural roll period, such as often occurs in beam seas, a heavier weighting of the roll velocity from the roll sensor will yield better stabilizer performance. In these cases, the beam follow knob is to be turned counterclockwise towards beam. When the vessel is in seas with frequent seas of encounter much longer than the vessel's natural roll period, typical in stern quartering or following seas, a heavier weighting of the roll angle from the roll sensor will yield better stabilizer performance. In these cases, turn the beam follow knob clockwise towards follow. Please note that this knob must be adjusted by feel on board. Rarely is best performance achieved by turning this knob fully counterclockwise, even in pure beam seas, or by turning the knob fully clockwise, even in pure following seas. Regardless of whether the control is operated in auto or manual mode, it is essential that the stabilizer system is engaged in the center mode for reversing operations, scenarios where slamming may occur, and during maneuvering. This requirement is for the safety of the equipment. In reversing situations, because the stabilizer fins have a larger area aft of the shaft, the danger exists that water flow backwards over the fins will force them to their maximum deflection, possibly causing equipment damage. This danger is minimized while the stabilizers are in the center mode. 
For vessels with high reversing speeds, above 5 knots or so, Quantum also recommends engaging the centering mechanism on the stabilizer hull units as an additional precaution. In heavy seas, if the stabilizer fins are located such that they may be exposed to slamming loads, Quantum recommends the stabilizer controller be left on and in the center mode with the centering mechanism on the stabilizer hull units not engaged. This will maintain the fins in the center position to minimize loading on the units, but will allow them to deflect in case slamming occurs. In these situations, it is recommended to reduce speed and change course to avoid damage to the stabilizer units. It is possible to transfer between the manual, auto, and center modes at any time while underway. However, to protect the equipment from damage, the ARC-3000 will remain in the center mode during maneuvering operations and it will not be possible to select the auto or manual modes. If the stabilizer controller is in the auto or manual mode, when maneuvering begins, the controller will automatically engage the center mode. Once maneuvering is complete, it will be possible to reselect auto or manual mode as desired. The controller engages center mode for maneuvering when both main engines are not in forward or if either main engine is in reverse. For vessels with dynamic positioning systems, the center mode is engaged when speed through the water reads less than 3 knots ahead. To shut down the stabilizer system, press the O button on the ARC-3000 control. The control will enter shutdown mode, which takes about 3 seconds. Then all the lights on the control will go out, indicating the system is shut down. Thank you for watching. This video was a basic review of ARC-3000 operation, and some material was excluded for the sake of time. For more in-depth information on operation and maintenance of quantum stabilizer systems, come to one of the training sessions at our Fort Lauderdale, Florida office, or contact us to arrange a training session on board your vessel. Contact information is available on our website at www.quantumhydraulic.com.